Hey there once again, this is nbb.com with another video on laptop customization. Today we'll be upgrading one of the most recent and most interesting gaming laptops currently on the market. The Asus ROG Zephyrus G14 with an AMD Ryzen CPU. The Zephyrus G14 is actually a bit of a unicorn when it comes to gaming laptops. It packs quite the punch in a 14 inch form factor and also has an amazingly long battery life thanks to its super efficient AMD Ryzen 4000 processor. As this is a gaming laptop, the ability to upgrade is obviously something a lot of people are interested in and in this video we show you how to upgrade the RAM and the SSD of the ASUS ROG Zephyrus G14. All you need is a screwdriver, a new PCIe SSD in the 2020 AD form factor and SO DIMM size DDR4 RAM that should have a speed of 3200 MHz. You'll also find the exact specifications of everything you'll need in our video description down below. First off, and I always have to say this, turn off your laptop by shutting it down. You wouldn't believe the amount of people that start working on their laptop while it's still in sleep mode. After you've turned it off, ground yourself by touching a metal structure like the radiator in your home. Now you can turn the Zephyrus G14 on its head and we can finally get to the juicy part of loosening the 14 screws holding the back cover in place. Once we've done that, the back cover is pretty easy to get off the laptop, so you actually don't need a spudger for it. Well done on ASUS part. Not so well done on the other hand was ASUS idea to solder 8GB of RAM on the mainboard and only give you one slot for a replaceable RAM stick. This way you would diminish the dual channel capabilities of your ROG Zephyrus when you don't opt for a same size 3200MHz RAM stick. Dual channel memory is quite important for AMD Ryzen processors, so if you already have 16GB of RAM in your ROG Zephyrus and you don't plan on doing 4K video edits, then I would advise you against going for more RAM and sacrifice the dual channel capabilities in the process. Gamers should be fine with 16GB anyway, at least for the foreseeable future. If you do need the extra RAM though, then simply pull out the existing RAM stick and replace it with a bigger one in the same SO DIMM sized form factor. As said before, choose one with DDR4 3200MHz speed to match it with the soldered RAM on the ASUS laptop's mainboard. Another easy replacement can be found right here next to it. You are looking of course at the M2 SSD slot. Simply loosen the screw right here and slowly pull the Zephyrus's old SSD from its connector. If you want to go with another SSD, make sure it's a real PCIe SSD and not one that still uses SATA, but has an M2 connector. A rather cheap and fast model that goes well with the ROG Zephyrus is the Crucial P1. Unfortunately, Ryzen 4000 in laptops doesn't support PCIe 4.0 so far. Underneath the SSD you can see the Wi-Fi module of the ROG Zephyrus. That's nice to know if you ever wish to replace it at a later date. Now place your new M2 SSD in the connector, press it down gently and fasten it with the screw. Don't forget to install Windows from a USB stick and download the ASUS utility software from ASUS official website. I put a link down in the description for the aforementioned so you'll still be able to control your fan speed and the energy profiles of your ROG Zephyrus. Let's also take a quick glance at the battery. As you can see, it is not glued in so it is quite an easy replacement at a later time. Also you can see the fans here which are easily accessible and also easy to clean. Now you simply put the cover back in place and screw it all together again. And that's it! You now know how to upgrade the RAM and the SSD of your ASUS ROG Zephyrus G14. Although there are some caveats to upgrading the RAM such as the dual channel sacrifice that say both RAM and SSD are rather easy replacements. If you like our videos leave a subscription to our channel and if you have any questions, thoughts or recommendations on it Leave a comment down below and we'll surely be back with more English language content for you guys. See you soon and have a good one.